This edition of My Thoughts Monday is brought to you by Valve Performance, the team behind the Nordboard, Four Stacks, the Groin Bar, and Human Track. Guys, the most important ability for all of our athletes is availability, and that's the absolute goal of Valve Performance, is to provide solutions to performance professionals so that we can get the right information to make the right decision at the right time for the betterment of the athletes that we get to work with. To do this, guys, they have a wide range of validated products that focus on usability, and having been founded by the School of Exercise and Nutrition Sciences at the Queensland University of Technology, they're extremely evidence-based and they're beyond transparent. I can tell you that our time using the Nordboard and being involved with Forstex, we have been introduced to so many amazing people that have truly helped us become better coaches, have a better understanding, not just of the technology, but also what we're doing with our athletes. So make sure you hop over to ValPerformance.com today to make sure you check out what they got. It's going to make you better and to do better by your athletes. The world of strength and conditioning is filled with some awesome practitioners who are always trying to evolve and continue to grow professionally throughout their career. The problem with many of us, though, is finding a new outlet, a new way and a new perspective on the questions that we may have whether it be programming, whether it be situational with dealing with coaches, or whether it be career advice. Because all too often what happens is we get stuck in with the same group of friends and the same group of colleagues that we reach out to for advice repeatedly over and over again. But what we should really be looking for is different perspectives, different people who have been through different situations who can help us make better decisions both for ourselves and our athletes. And one awesome place to start with that is the forums in the Strength Coach Network. In the forums in the Strength Coach Network, you'll be able to reach out and get feedback, input, and advice from coaches from all over the world, from everything, from career advice to training modalities to programming. There's people there just for the same reason as you are, to try to get better, to learn, to share information, and to grow the field of strength and conditioning. So hop on over to strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps. That's strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps to dive into all that great content today and get your 48-hour trial for only a dollar. I look forward to seeing you in the Strength Coach Network. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Jay DeMeo coming at you with this week's edition of My Thoughts Monday. And today, guys, I just want to keep, you know, continuing down that little subset of these My Thoughts Mondays with a, another one of these lessons from Greybeard. And I think that today, I really want to touch upon some of the what's and whys behind CVASPs and how that connects to a lot of the things that we're seeing right now. You know, when we started the Central Virginia Sport Performance Seminar, it was built because of two things. One, as I've told a million times, I was called out to provide a better education platform for the staff that we have here. Um, but then on top of that, it turned into a way for us to bring people together and to ask better questions. And I think that that's something that is super important when we're talking about continuing education and even more so determining what we find value from in a presentation. And what I think that we do all too often, and this is everyone, myself included, is we tend to grade, if you may, like say this is a great presentation or I saw a great presentation because what it does more than anything is it provides, you know, the confirmation bias. You know, if you really dig Olympic weightlifting and you think the snatch and the clean and jerk and all the derivatives are the cat's pajamas and that's the way to go. And if I put somebody on the stage at CVASPs who talks about just that, you're gonna think that was an awesome presentation. And I understand that, and that's just human nature. And it's to the point where I'm not even saying that that's completely wrong. But what I am asking is maybe, when we start determining what these presentations are and how we quantify them, maybe we should quantify them a little differently. And maybe we should be looking and finding presentations that actually make us question what we are doing. 
and actually make us look a little deeper into things that we've possibly written off. Let me give you an example. And I'm going to give a shout out here to Matt Gildersleeve and Drake for all the awesome work they did with the coaches versus COVID and all that, the presentations. But I'm going to give a huge shout out to Coach Sleeve. Because for an example here, I've always looked at wall drills and just not seen the connection to how they, they can build into speed work. I've never had a progression with them. I've never had really a need for them because of that, right? You just look at them and it's like, all you're doing is pushing yourself into a wall. How are you going to be developing speed or acceleration when you're not doing anything fast or accelerating? When the forces aren't even necessarily being pushed in the same direction, you would want them to push in an acceleration. Well, I was lucky enough to be able to watch Coach Sleeve talk. And that presentation he had and the, the progression he had immediately got me on the phone with, with some people. And I was like, I might be wrong. Like, this, this looks like a really good idea. What do you think? And it was an immediate, like, yeah, I mean, that could fit because think of how it would run into X, Y, and Z about what you do. Don't you think that it would fit in that progression? That's like, well, holy smokes. That's a great presentation because what it did is it made me sit here and take a step back and go, huh, you know, maybe I'm not doing this right. It didn't say what I was doing is the best way to do it. Because if we all figured out that we had the best way to do it, we'd all be doing the same thing, first of all. And we wouldn't need to talk to each other because we all know what, what the best thing would be. Now, I get it. I'm sure there's people out there that are saying, well, but, you know, different athletes, different sports, different locations, different people, different goals, different seasons, different, different, different. I get it. You know, it's always an N of one. It's always you're working with one athlete in a group. But can you take something from someone and make it make you think and reevaluate and break down what you're doing? Another great example from this weekend is looking at how Eric Renigan handled his hockey players. You know, looking at the different metrics that he was taking, looking at how he was evaluating them, looking at what those led to. Now, right? I can't sit here and put pressure mapping in all my guys' shoes. Can't do it. We don't have the budget for it. It's just me. I don't know if I have the time. You know, but there's all those things. But it sure is going to make me think a little better about, hmm, I wonder when we're looking at force plate data, if we need to start bucketing them by a two or three inch difference, or if we bucket them by weight difference, or position, or what. Should we be looking at it more that way as opposed to, ah, it's just the team, right? Because we do a lot of things the same at all five positions. Or even more so, you would think with swimmers, right? You look at different things and you would say, well, just separate them by stroke. Well, maybe, but if you've got a six foot butterflyer and a five foot seven butterflyer, don't you think that they're, you know, how they would do on their ash test would be different and how they would do on their jump test just based on how they are built lever wise would be different. So it made me go back and, and think about a lot of these things and break a lot of these things down and tear them apart. That's a good presentation. That's a great presentation to me. Something that's making me go, huh, okay, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, guys, don't get me wrong, okay? It's really cool if you're able to go to a symposium and you hear someone that you look up to and they talk about things really similar to the way you do it. And they talk about using methods and means that you use. Like, I get it, okay? It still is cool for me to hear people talk about things that are similar to what we do and make sense with what we do. 
those sort of things are awesome. And if we all sat down, I would say for the most part, we'd probably agree on a good two thirds to three quarters of what we're doing anyway, right? And I'd probably say half of what we don't agree on, we at least understand. And then there's maybe like a 5% difference that people like to chirp about. But really, at the end of the day, and that's what we're trying to do here with CVASPs, is can you find people that are going to come together and are gonna make you question what you're doing? They are gonna make you question why you're doing it, and they're gonna make you question, are you really doing what's best for the kids that you get to work with? Or are you just going to places where you're going to be able to find people that are gonna be doing nothing but high fives and butt taps on each other because everybody does the same thing. So I don't know. But that's one of the huge driving forces behind what we're doing at CVASPs. You know, for, for all of this stuff, for the Instagram lives we're doing now, for the presenters we bring on, for the people that I try to bring in with Kier for the Strength Coach Network, you know, for, for all of that. Where, where are there people that are gonna challenge me? Where are there people that are gonna make me think? Selfishly, yeah, me. Because what I'm hoping is if they're gonna make me ask questions about what I'm doing, hopefully they're making someone else ask a question that's there. And then what we'd love is for that person to say that question out loud. As you say that question out loud, maybe you just brought another question about what people do. And that's what open, honest, and candid sharing is all about. Putting things out there, this is how I do it, this is why I do it, this is what I do it. Let's talk about it. So, this week's lessons from old Greybeard is simply this, guys. Confirmation bias is great, but a great presentation <laughs> makes you stand up, look at what you're doing, and ask a lot of questions. Would love to hear what presentations you've seen in the last few weeks, or what conversations you've had in the last few weeks that have made you ask questions. Why they made you ask questions, and what questions they made you ask. Because again, we got a time where we can make each other better. Let's keep sharing all that information. As always, guys, truly appreciate everything you do for us here at Central Virginia Sport Performance. We'll be back next week with another My Thoughts Monday. I'll see you then.